Hello everyone, welcome to ASBOVA. I hope you are all having a very good day. So, without further ado, we are going to discuss about the all the prelims uh, 2023 history questions which have been asked this year. So, overall in about 13 questions were asked from history that is including uh, ancient medieval as well as modern history. So, first we will discuss the answer keys for all the questions and then they will give you my general commentary about the nature of the questions that have been asked and uh, what kind of strategy we should be following in the coming uh, for the next preparation level how, sure, how, how, how we should base our preparation from okay so uh, what is the role of IAS Baba especially with respect to the uh, prelims preparation as well as uh, overall UPSC preparation Every, everything we are going to discuss in the last first we are going to discuss about so all the uh, answer keys for this year question that is the first question it talks about in which of the following regions uh, was Danya Kataka or is simply called Dharani Kota uh, which flourished as a prominent Buddhist center under the Mahasanika located in we know the Dharani Kota that is in Andhra Pradesh okay so if you read about Shatavana's time time period during that point of time that is when the mention of Dharani Kota comes in especially Mahasanika again out of Mahasanika is uh, we talk about how the Mahayanas evolved out of the Mahasanika okay so answer for the first question is that is which of the following is Dhanya Kota that is in located in Andhra Pradesh it's a pr pretty again most of the questions for fairly factual in nature the understanding part was very less this time the most of the questions were mainly in factual in nature okay so then again we will come to the, the second question with reference to ancient India consider the following statement it is slightly uh, fa factual as a well, little bit conceptual part is also there the concept of stupa is a Buddhist in origin okay it's actually these are stupas are pre-Buddhist monks okay these are pre-Buddhist and that were popularized by Buddhists later okay it was adopted by Buddhism and popularized by the Buddhism quite later it is actually pre-Buddhist monks and again stupa was generally a repository of relics we know that one uh, the any symbols or relics of related to Buddhism was located in stupas then again stupa was a votive and commemorative structure in Buddhist tradition we know the first statement is wrong and how many of the statements given above is are correct that is first statement is wrong at the same time that is only two they're not all three are not correct only two statements are correct that super are generally repository of relics relics related to bodhisattva related to buddha relics related to entire buddhism as a whole and again super is a ot very commemorative structure in buddhist tradition okay so answer should be b that is only two and then third question that is with reference to the ancient south india korkai pumpuar as well as muchuri they were all known as what they were known for Ports. Actually, in our classes, we actually talked about that is we should make notes, we should make we should make some kind of marking with respect to in uh, India maps with respect to the old uh, uh, port sites. At the same time, we also talked about uh, we can also talk about that is old Paleolithic sites, Mesolithic site. At the same time, whatever the places names come, so all these things we particularly mentioned in the classes that you should make your own uh, India map, and in that maps you should be marking all those. Uh, ports at, at the center important places everything related to uh, prehistorical times as well as for the uh, especially from the commercial point of view that is the ports uh, these are these are the questions that kept on repeating from last couple of years that is we kept repeating in the classes that you people should prepare your own uh, notes also at the same time preparing one uh, map and in that map you should mark all the places too and at the same time all these places uh, particularly were covered in our foundation course also as well as in our pep classes also okay so then fourth question talk about which one of the following explains the practice of Vata Kirutal that is as mentioned in Sangha poems it is slightly we can say kind of a bouncer kind of question that is not many people would have heard about this one this is actually related to the last one that is the answer is D a king defeated in a battle committing rituals you said by starving himself to death okay so very lesser of concept that is then again fifth question again it's factual in nature they're just asking about the chronology they're just asking about uh, during which time period which dynasty was established okay that is considered the following dynasties that Vaisala dynasty Gadawala dynasty Kakatiya dynasty and Yadava dynasty and how many of the above dynasties established the kingdom in the early 8th century if you have basic history knowledge so you have been reading you have been preparing for UPSC for a quite a while you'd be knowing the basic timeline of all most of the dynasties and all these were medieval dynasties that is Vaisalas, Gadavala, Kakatiyas, Yadavas, that is with Kakatiyas of Warangal, okay, we talk about that Yadavas of Devagiri, okay, then Yadavas of Devagiri and Gadavalas is a Rajput dynasty, okay, and then again Vaisalas of course in Karnataka, so these were actually after 10 centuries, not before, not even one single of them were before 10 centuries, these are 11, 12, 13 and 14 centuries, so answer should be none, so none of the dynasties were there during the time period of early 8th century AD okay so all these dynasties were established from after the 11th 12th 10th 11th or 12th century AD okay so this is the fifth one and next one we come to the sixth one again 
factual in nature just we are asking about so which literature textbook and from last couple of year they were asking about the minor ones but this time they asked about the the major one itself so all these were majorly covered in most of the uh, textbooks so at the same time all this literary works are extensively discussed in our foundation courses as well as in our web classes too okay so devi chandra guptam you know that is it is written by vishakadatta okay vishakadatta okay so this uh, goes wrong then Amira Mahakavya, that is Naya Chandra Suri, that is a Jain scholar. Then again, Bilinda Panavo, Nagarjuna, okay, who is a Buddhist scholar. Okay, then again, Niti Vyakyamrita, Soma Deva Suri, it is a treatise on ethics and politics. Okay, ethics and politics. So, all of them are correctly matched, that is except the first one. So, we can say that is only three, that is three pairs are correctly matched in this one particular question. Okay. And then again, souls are not only the property of animal and plant life, but also of rocks, running water and many other natural objects not looked down on, not looked on as living by other religious sects. The above statement reflect one of the core belief of which one of the following religious sects of ancient India. It's pretty much simple. They're talking about the concept of soul. Okay, concept of soul. The particularly there is a different concept with respect to soul in Buddhism as well as Jainism. Buddhism do not accept soul concept. That is a concept they say that one, it is called as Anatta. Okay, Buddhism say anatta, it means it does not accept the existence of soul. But the Jainism accepts the existence of soul both in animate beings as well as inanimate beings. In animate beings, that is the living beings as well as non-living beings. So this concept is related to Jainism. So Buddhism accepts there is no soul concept, but the Jainism accepts there is each and every aspect, each and every object, even stone also has a soul too. That is soul is not only property of animal and plant life, but also of rocks and running water too. So it's a very it is a only conceptual question, I would say, that is asked in this year. That is the seventh question. And then again, this again slightly factual. Who among the following rulers? Of Vijayanagara Empire constructed a large dam across Sungabadra River and a canal come aqueduct several kilometers long from river to the capital city. That capital city was Ampi, we know that. Okay. And this was Sangama dynasty, Sangama dynasty ruler Devaraya 1. Okay. So that is the answer. For the eighth question, the answer should be Devaraya 1 from Sangama dynasty. Okay. And again, who among the following rulers of medieval Gujarat surrendered due to Portuguese. Uh, this answer is Badrusha because Badrusha has having some kind of conflict with Mughals. Okay. And Badrusha wanted yell from Portuguese to defeat Mughals. And that is the reason. So he surrendered the port of Diu to Badrusha. Sorry, uh, to Portuguese. So answer should be C. Badrusha. Then again. The tenth one, by which one of the following acts was the Governor General of Bengal designated as the Governor General of India? We know the answer is 1833 because in 1773 when the Regulating Act was passed, the Governor of Bengal became Governor General of Bengal. At the same time, in 1833, the Governor General of Bengal became Governor General of India. The reason why it was made was very simple because the commercial monopoly, commercial monopoly of East India Company ended in 1833 completely. So, free trade was introduced in 1813. The complete monopoly of the commercial monopoly of company was in 1833 and the Charter Act of 1833 changed the designation because it company became purely a, a political body. Political body and almost it added, added supremacy over all over India and that is the reason the answer should be the Charter Act of 1833. Okay. And then again, next question with reference to the Indian history, Alexander Ria, H. Longhurst, Robert Sewell, James Berg, Burgess and Walter Elliott were associated with archaeological excavations. Okay, so archaeological excavation. It's a very simple question. Then again, 60 second. So again, related to uh, Buddhism and Jainism. So that shows that many questions mainly coming from Buddhism and Jainism. Again, the core area remains the same. So most of the questions are revolving around from Buddhism, Jainism itself only, but again, in a different types of question. That is, I kept, we kept saying in the classes that keep on anticipating what kind of questions can be formed at the same time, utilizing the, the same knowledge what we have. So utilizing that one, what kind of different questions could be formed? So everything. So that is what, that is from the same area. That is a Buddhism, Jainism only. They are ask, asking few questions. That is a Besnagar. So Besnagar, if you are talking about Eliodorus pillar, okay, and in that pillar that is talks about that is Lord Vasudeva and that is it also related to Bhagavatism. Okay, and this is related to Lord Krishna and that related to Vaishnavism. That related to Vaishnavism. So the first one are not correctly matched. Baja caves uh, that is in Maharashtra that relate that related to Buddhist 
caves and sitan vasal that is in tamil nadu that is related to jaina caves so how many of the above pairs are correctly matched we know that is only two are correctly matched because the first one is besnagar that is related to vaishnavism not shaivism and the last question that asks that is from modern india is very few questions only it is a major only two questions that is with respect to the acts that is 1833 act at the same time we talk about there is a uh, swadeshi moment that is 7th august is declared as a national landloom day and statement one and the statement second says it was in 1905 that this swadeshi moment was launched on the same day yes this swadeshi moment was launched on the same day that is 7th august 1905 too that is which one of the following is correct in respect of the above statement so the both statement one and statement two are correct and statement two is the correct explanation of the statement because that day the important decision was taken to that is to boycott the british goods as well as start using the um, swadeshi goods and that that is the day that is more 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 and more indigenous industries came up to uh, came up especially during the swadeshi moment and to mark that day that is 7th august 1905 was declared as the national and loom day okay so these are the questions okay asked that is only 13 questions for us okay overall we can talk about again mainly if, uh, except one or two i think most other questions could have answered by a lay upsc uh, competitor who have been preparing for quite a while that is most of them are factual and again nature so but the overall core area remains the same that is buddhism jainism okay so a little bit of we can talk about the ancient and medieval in particularly ancient india is getting more traction they can say more and more importance is beginning to ancient india compared to so medieval and uh, modern india and particularly medieval india not even only one question was asked and uh, modern india only two questions but we cannot uh, say that uh, that uh, any one particular area to we can say that uh, where we can completely focus on that is we have to give equal importance to each and thing because the uh, trend might keep on changing or we can say that is from compared to last two to three years almost the trend is almost the same that is giving more importance to ancient india okay so of course modern india this time has given uh, very less importance but uh, uh, of course uh, we cannot neglect all those areas it still remains an important aspect of the upsc preparation so it will continue to be do so uh, so yes so overall question we can say that is question paper especially gs1 paper that is looking at all the question paper uh, we can say overall cutoff remain in and around the same as the last year itself only like 2022 itself only so keep preparing okay so yes uh, if you have done really well that is if you're scoring above 85 okay so you're touching around 90 and all these kind of things so keep pre keep preparing for mains okay so that's what the message from is baba so keep watching uh, thank you so much